Good morning. Welcome to today's Morning Moxie with Larissa. On my channel, I like to share bite-sized pieces of motivation and inspiration all about leadership, personal development, and life well lived. So today's Moxie is about writing thank you cards. I lost art for sure. Let's jump in. So tell me, how warmed do you feel when you receive a surprise thank you card? Because people might say thank you or thanks, but seldom does anyone take the time to write an actual thank you card. So if you're anything like me, I, I love these little surprise love notes as I call them. So I suggest that turnabout is fair play. If you like receiving thank you cards, even if you don't like receiving thank you cards, I suggest and invite you to spread a little happiness confetti. So if you think about the people who have done something nice, big or small, there are probably several people you could thank each week. A nice round number to start with is three to five people that you send a thank you card to each week. And you know, you also get some joy, as I said, when you're thanking others, because number one, you know, they're going to feel good when they receive it. But you know, if you use nice stationery, and I invite you to buy some nice thank you cards, those are still available. Not a lot of personal stationery available, but thank you cards are readily available. One source that I like is Tuesday mornings. That's a, an off price store, I think they call it. But I have found some lovely stationery in there. And, but you know, you can just run down to Walmart. Even uh, Target has some decent cards. Actually, I'm not sure about Target. I know Walmart does. But anyway, buy some nice stationery and go to the post office and order some nice stamps. I used to say commemorative stamps, but they're not commemorating anything, but just ask to see what they have available that is pretty. But also I forgot that you can also get personalized stamps on Zazzle.com, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E. I did that when I was um, hosting my first launch party for Pink Passport Society, but you can actually get personalized stamps through Zazzle or I, the post office may allow you to do that as well. But anyway, just put some effort into your stamps because that's the first thing that they're going to notice. Perhaps when they get the card, they're going to look at the pretty stamp. I have also gotten carried away and occasionally put um, flowers, stickers on the cards because I like to um, use stickers in my, uh, my calendars. Um, or you can just put like a simple seal on the back, you know, where you put your address label. But um, just put a little effort extra effort into your thank you cards. And of course, nice penmanship is a nice touch. Now, who's getting thanked? So I suggest that you keep some thank you cards in your purse, backpack, work bag, whatever you call it. And of course, keep some in your um, desk so that if something nice happens that you want to acknowledge, you will have the cards ready for making someone stay. That may be a staff member, maybe a colleague. Not sure it's gonna be your boss. But who knows, you know, just someone who did something good that day that you want to acknowledge. And four or five minutes when I had someone who was taking care of my lawn before he went walkabout, I don't know what happened, but anyway, I used to, uh, Target has these little two by two um, blank note cards with pretty envelopes. And I would, you know, say thank you on the card. And that's how I would enclose the payment. So whether it's the lawn person, the handyman, whomever, you know, you can just, say thank you nicely without just handing over the green, you know, put it in an envelope. But um, that's just a couple of different ways that I like to say thank you. So I'm hoping that you also consider that. And then just lastly, I'm going to invite you to make a list of say three to five people this week that you want to say thank you to and go ahead, spread some joy for the both of you. So that has been today's Morning Moxie with Larissa. I hope you have found it valuable. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers.